Hello, it's Jenny from Craft and Vinyl Studio. Thank you so much for purchasing one of our tiered tray kits. I'm going to walk you through some steps to help you complete your kit. Keep in mind that the examples shown will be from the pumpkin kit, but you can use these techniques on any of our kits. The first thing that you want to do is paint your background pieces with the paintbrush. Uh, make sure that when you're painting the background pieces, you use thin coats and allow to dry in between each coat. Uh, colors that are lighter, like cream or white, might take two to three coats, so just keep that in mind. If your piece is a faux shiplap piece, meaning it has the scored lines like shown in the picture, allow it to dry your base coat and then use the push pin that is included in your kit to scrape out the excess paint in the lines and then since you've allowed it to dry, you can just kind of brush off those extra crumbs. It might take a couple times scraping in the line to get the look that you're going for. Another thing to keep in mind with those background pieces is that if your paint at all feels rough in between coats or after your final coat, you can use the enclosed sandpaper. It's a really fine grit and you can just kind of give it a light sanding and that will help smooth out the paint. After you've painted your backgrounds, it's time to paint the smaller pieces in your kit. First, you wanna dab the small sponges that came in your kit into the paint and then uh, dab the excess onto a paper plate. You don't want a lot of paint on that sponge, just a small little amount. And just like when you painted the background, uh, painting thin coats on these little pieces will help it look better in the long run. Um, if you happen to be painting letters that are not connected, like they're not cursive letters, just keep them on the masking tape that they came on while you're painting and that will help hold them down. Uh, keep in mind that it might take two coats to get these uh, smaller pieces painted. If any of the pieces in your kit have a stained look that you would like to achieve, it's really super easy. Just take the baby wipe that came in your kit, dip it into the brown paint, and rub it onto the wood. And some tips with this are to go with the grain of the wood if possible, and just rub it back and forth in, in even coats. If you want it a little bit lighter, you can press a little bit harder, or wipe with the with the uh, part of the baby wipe that does not have any paint on it just to kind of like rub some of that paint excess paint off or if you want it a little bit darker you can always add another coat after it dries of that brown paint if your kit includes a stencil for the tag be sure to sand the tag or the piece really well and make it nice and smooth before you apply your stencil and when you apply your stencil press it down really nice and tight and then peel off that clear coating on top and um, then you just use your sponge to dab some thin coats um, in those spaces that you want to paint and it should be good to go once it's dry you can peel that stencil off once your letters and backgrounds are nice and dry lay all the pieces out where you want them to go and one by one, turn over the cutouts and apply the wood glue to the back of the cutouts the same way that you did with the paint. So dab your small sponge into the glue, dab off the excess onto a paper plate, and then just dab it, um, a light coat on the back of the piece, and then turn it over and press down where you want it to um, be on the, on the background and it should dry within a couple minutes and be nice and secure. You do not need a lot of glue. Make sure it's a nice thin coat because if you have a lot, when you push down, it will squeeze out the sides. Next, you're gonna paint the wooden beads. To do this, put the desired beads that you wanna paint and just a small amount of paint on a paper plate. Uh, make sure you don't put too much paint because it's, it's better to start out with a little bit and then add more if you need it than to start out with too much. Take another paper plate and put it on top of the one you have the paint and beads on and it will create like a clamshell. Hold both sides of the plate together tightly and then shake for 10 to 30 seconds. After you're finished shaking, take off the top paper plate and look at your beads. If you feel like you need a little bit more paint, just put a tiny little bit more and put the plate back on and shake it up. If there are any spots on your beads that you feel like need to be touched up, just allow them to dry, and then after they're dry, use the sponges to do a little bit of touch up. To make the tassel, take the longest length of twine that you found in your kit and wrap it around your hand. Next, take it off your hand and then take the shortest length of twine that's in your kit and wrap it around the end of the loop that you just created. Make sure you leave a little space at the top. Take just a little bit of hot glue or 
a bit of uh, super glue and glue that end of the string that you're wrapping around down so it holds. Once it's secure, take a pair of scissors and trim the end of the loop. Once your beads are nice and dry, grab your tag, the twine that's remaining in your kit, and the beads. Take the twine and loop it through the tag as shown in the picture. String the twine through the beads. Um, if you're having trouble getting the twine to go through the smaller holes on the beads, just use a little piece of scotch tape to kind of tape those ends together and it'll help it pull through the beads a little easier. After you have strung all your beads, take the remaining twine and pull it through that hole that you have in the top of your tassel and then pull it tight and tie a knot. It will then be connected, kind of push that knot to the back side and your um, tag is complete. And that should bring you to the end of your kit. I hope you've had so much fun creating this and I hope you enjoy it in your home. Um, last but not least, when you're setting up your kit, you can create the easels. They just should fit in right into each other. There are two different cut uh, pieces of the easel and the top just kind of slides onto the bottom. And then you can place your signs on and decorate with your accessories. Thanks so much and have a great day.